right, I'm here at IoT Tech Expo in Berlin, uh, and I have with me Quentin Rockford, who is uh, with Chirp. Uh, we talked to Chirp at IoT Tech Expo in London as well. Quentin, welcome. Thank you. Let's have a quick discussion on how things have moved uh, for Chirp. Um, last time uh, I spoke to your colleague uh, in, in London, and we had a chat about the home. And basically one of the, th the themes we discussed were how in the home um, actually devices are getting smarter in the home, but also how uh, the devices are adapting to the communication, kinds of communications that we as uh, uh, humans have in, in the home space. So um, I was curious if you could tell me a little bit more how things have evolved there and, and how you are thinking about that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we wanted to explore the possibilities of the home assistants like, uh, like Alexa. And we've developed an Alexa toolkit in order for third-party developers to integrate the Chirp technology into that, uh, that platform and have, uh, have the Alexa communicate with the, um, with the machines uh, in the house. So we wanted to, Alexa in, in itself is uh, a human-to-machine interaction and we wanted to, to have a machine-to-machine -machine interaction as well embedded into that. So we've developed an Alexa toolkit um, that um, makes a call to an API to generate an MP3 audio file that Alexa is then able to, to use and uh, play out loud to communicate with, using Chirp with um, another device. And the good thing that we took out of that is that it's really easy to implement. For developers, we worked a lot on the, um, writing the documentation and making it um, simple to use. And the MP3 endpoint we've developed is usable for generating audio files that any uh, audio player is able to, to play. Uh, very interesting. I don't think we need to explain to people what Amazon Alexa is. Yeah. Obviously, it's part of the Echo ecosystem. Uh, curious, why did you, why did you choose uh, to work with them? Well, uh, Alexa is um, starting to, to, to make um, some uh, sound in the, in the IoT uh, home IoT um, environment. And as a sound-based company, we want we were quite interested in working with um, a device that relies a lot on audio uh, to, to, to work and wanted to explore the possibilities and how can Chirp fit in that uh, home ecosystem. Specifically, we want to, to bridge the gap with, between uh, the Alexa that is uh, ubiquitous and knows and is connected uh, all the time with um, less smart devices that are not necessarily connected to the internet all the time or not connected at all. Yeah, so, you, so data over sound for you is, I guess, an, is an advantage in that case, would you say? Yes. Uh, it makes it with, simpler? With, or, well, I mean, well, yeah. with, with sound, you don't have to be, to be connected to anything. So you don't need a pre-existing connection. No IP between. connection and these kind of you things, right? You don't need yeah. a handshake. You don't need an existing connection between the two devices. And uh, you don't need additional hardware. Uh, Alexa is already uh, or already has a speaker and a microphone, uh, so that you don't need an extension to it, except for for a software extension. So if you just play an audio file to trigger an action from uh, a disconnected appliance, implementing cheap hardware like a, a microphone, uh, then you don't. You don't necessarily need additional hardware in that yeah. space. Interesting. I mean, so basically Alexa is now entering the homes of millions of people and now you are connecting to that device that is entering millions of, 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 of uh, households and are connecting many, many, many other uh, yes. things in that house which are not usually not connected. So that's a very interesting one. It's not necessarily just uh, home appliances either. could be uh, kid toys. Uh, you don't want to have um, the, the toys always uh, listening and broadcasting information about your, your house to the internet. So if you, you have um, a toy that uh, integrates the Chirp technology, um, then you can have Alexa trigger some specific actions. You can, uh, and even outside of uh, the, the, the Alexa, because it's just an audio file, can be played from any device so that the, the the interaction is uh, safer in, in that environment. Good, very interesting stuff. 
Uh, it sounds like you guys are on a good path. So I uh, hope you have another good day tomorrow here at the show. And um, so. look forward to speaking to you maybe at one of the next shows and see how this, this is going ahead and moving. And uh, very nice. Thank oh, you. Thanks for hosting me. Yeah.